everyone and uh, welcome to my kitchen once again I hope you are surviving the school holidays uh, I know I am looking forward to the kids going back to school and kindy and everything else I have hidden them in a hidey hole under the stairs so let's fingers crossed they will be good to me today Thank we'll see how we go we'll see how they go fingers crossed there's only so much chocolate and chips they can have but I have to take them to the park never mind Anyway, hello I'm, Christina. Christina's saying hello. Hi guys. Welcome. Hi Christina. Welcome. Now, I have titled this Easy Lunch Recipes, uh, Easy School Sort of Snack Recipes, but really it's just three things that my kids really love to eat. Most of the time I've got the ingredients in my cupboard. If not, I can substitute it. Uh, or it's just three things that are just so easy that the kids can help you cook, which I think is really important. See, Mrs. Zinclair is saying you used to love mouse traps and chicken club sandwiches. Whoa, there you I go. Like a good, I love a good club sandwich. Do you? Yeah, you like a club I do. I love, I love a good club sandwich. A good club sandwich. Yeah. It is the oldie in you coming out. <laughs> it is. It's like um, asparagus, what is it? Asparagus rolls yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. egg rolls mm. and things like that. No asparagus rolls here because you've got to use that floppy asparagus from the tin. But anyway, I'm going to throw, show you three things that I make on a regular basis. I'm an easy cook. My kids don't get like a five course meal and everything has a different flavor, etc. Number one, they don't like it. Mm -hmm. Number two, I cook kind of what they like and I adapt it for us. And number three, I hate being in the kitchen for hours on end just to produce one thing. So all of these things are really quick and easy. Yep. Um, they're things that I was raised on. And I've got a few sort of just tricks that my mum taught me as an adult, as a mum. Uh, that she was able to pull the wool over my eyes. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, let's get making because I am making scones today and they will take around about sort of 10 minutes to cook. So let's get making. Normally with scones, you have to cut the butter and a lot of people use food processor, which is a brilliant way to do it. However, my mum, God bless her, she has, and I don't know where she got it from, but it works, and I love her for it. J so Jimmy's got grandkids, so oh, with Jimmy, Jimmy. Uh, this, this is this At least you can okay give them for, back. He's not supposed to admit things like that, Jimmy. At least you can give them back. Well, our daughter's decided, she's four, she's decided she's going to have kittens, not babies, which I kind of like the idea of, just quietly. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, real. this is easy scones. So I've got my butter in there. I'm going to use Mrs. Rogers' uh, garlic and herb salt because I kind of use that in everything. It's a little bit like the kiwi roast for me. Um, and But you could use whatever you wanted to. You could put some Italian herbs in here with a little bit of salt. You could just put salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. So I want about a teaspoon. The other reason I love Mrs. Rogers' grinders is because you can grind it in the lid. Well, Lana says it does sound yummy. So, I'm, yeah. I'm, so just just so we're aware, we're trying yes. some new camera stuff today. Oh, so yes. So we're multitasking. So, so Ben's excuse, decided to try new camera stuff. I tried to do new camera stuff. So let us know if it's, if it's good or bad or whatever. Or, but yeah, we'll just see frustrating. It. Or just frustrating, yeah. Okay, so I've got my melted butter and uh, all, all the ingredients as per in the thing. And my salt in there. Salt now, has gone in. I am going to put a cup of plain flour in there. Only problem with that camera up top is can you see me hiding all my stuff? <laughs> no, no, it's out oh, of the way. Good. You can't see the mess. Yay! Yay. And uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. Now you can triple this recipe if you want. However, I find the one cup makes four nice scones. Kids eat one, there's one left over for the extra hungry child if needed. Yum. So or the mummy or the daddy or the whatever or so whatever you want to sieve it and sieving is quite important if we're not using a food processor now we had, to, we had a discussion about sieving was it sieving or sifting in the recipe well I what think did we ended up on jimmy I, I jimmy left, you'll know mate i what, left um, sift because i looked at a cooking book and it said, oh, sift, it said sift the flour okay well done that's all right but i think the actual action is sieve, i don't know no anyway way. get your whisk and you want to whisk that butter <laughs> that melted butter through and oh, Alana likes the camera stuff. Sorry. Thanks, Alana. I know oh. you're doing your cooking thing there, but you know. You're the camera guy. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Okay, so I'm just wanting it. I'm not going to be too fussy. It's just, this is a really good way of spreading the butter through. And without all that, I don't know. I just find it way easier. And my nearly nine-year-old son made these uh, last week. 
and it was easy for him to do it. So I yeah. think when kids have got a cut butter and they're like, oh, that's such a boring thing, and I must admit, I, it's not my fave. And you've got to do it because otherwise your scone's manky. But this makes it really easy. Oh, Jimmy okay. says, sorry, Jimmy says um, it's um, sifting. You can sift or sift. Sifting? I'm oh, sifting what? flour, but oh, no, that's just confusing. And it. yes, um, thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, I realise the camera's in the way of the sign. So I'll have to sort that out next time. Wait, uh, the, the sign? The sign. When I switched to the, the I've changed the camera view now. So. Oh, far out. Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. Anyway. I'm putting in some cheese because I'm making cheese scones, but if you don't want cheese scones or you want sweet scones, just leave cheese out um, because these will do jam and cream as well, obviously without the herb salt and everything. All that sort of stuff. And hello um, Chef Jason joining us again, one of Jimmy's hello. mates. Hello Chef. So I'm using tasty cheese and I had a little bit of parmesan in my fridge. You know, you get that cheese and it's just a little bit left over, so I am just popping that in there as well because Cheese scones are the bomb. And I've just changed this the picture so that um, who was it? The Rebecca can see what the sign says. Easy school whole lunches. Whole dot holiday. Whole, oh, it's I abbreviated. Sorry, it's abbreviated. Sorry about that. Okay, so there's our basic scone mixture. Now I'm going to put in some of the milk. As you can see, there's no eggs or anything, so it's a pretty. As long as you've got flour, baking powder, stuff, salt. Butter. Butter. Um, I probably will need all of that. Now the mixture needs to be quite doughy and not over stirred. So if you've got mm. a child who really likes stirring, probably not the best go. No. Um, Rick, Rebecca, you don't have to apologize. It's fine. <laughs> yes, you do. No, just kidding. So now I have got a little bit more flour here because the object of the just game is to actually get it out of the bowl. Nice. And I have taken all my rings off because yeah. trying to get... Dough out of rings? Not so good. <laughs> it's not fun. Oh, we are going to adjust the um, overhead camera as well so it's more in the middle. It was just a last minute um, I was getting over. I, I was getting I was over getting, it. You, I was yeah. like, come on! Come on, just, let's just do stuff. I'm ready to go! Yes, so... Now, some people like to shape their scones. You know what? I like the old home-cooked look myself. But oh, Christine says it's always good to use leftovers. Absolutely yeah. Right. yeah, and see with these sorts of scones, yeah. you could always, if you've got some chicken, chicken or some something left over, something left over, you could chuck yep. that in. So you just does anyone ever put mints in scones? Mints. Yeah, is that what? a thing that anyone? Why would ever you done? do that? I don't know. Just said leftovers. A bit. Would would mints in scones work? No, probably not. I don't know. Would I, it? I, I, I a dare you. So. I dare you. To I'm do not that. going to put mints in scones. Okay. Okay, right. so I'm just wanting to make little balls. And Chef Jason loves their live shows. Thanks, Chef Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Chef Jason. Well done, so mate. do we. So do we. Is that his official name, Chef it Jason? says Chef Jason. Oh, nice. I wasn't so. sure if you were just, you know. No, no. no that give is, it him like it a pseudonym. Pseudonym. A pseudonym. Another, another good thing is kids don't like overcooking, so it's kind of, you know, this is a really nice, quick and easy thing to do. Yep. Easy, easy. Now, stay tuned because I have... Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I sound like a professional person. Um, oh, Alana's watching it on a bigger screen on a bigger screen phone rather than... Oh, you must have got a new phone, Alana. Oh, happy yeah. birthday. Hey, you know what you can do as well, um, just, just while, you're, while we're watching, is that you can get... If you've got an Apple TV or a, um, a Chromecast, which are about 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks, you just you can stream from your phone to the big screen. So you we actually watch watched this back really big on the big like a proper TV show, you know. Just tell me better though, because I'll have to do my makeup a bit <laughs> more heavy. Anyway, so these go into the oven. Two twenty degrees actually, guys. It's really really hot in there for around about ten minutes. Cook them hard and fast, and they will be yummy. Really? So I am going to put my timer on because Otherwise Ben we'll tends to talk too much. Sorry. And I'll, it'll be blinking at me. So anyway, that's scones. Number one, done. I'm well just done. gonna. So that was number one. Number easy one, easy school scones. holiday. Rips and peeves. Probably should wipe that down, well but done. you guys will forgive me. Joe likes the homemade wipe. fritters. I love a good homemade fritter. Yeah. You make the best corn fritters. I do make a really good corn the, fritter in, using in the brine. Yeah. The anyway, oil. mouse mm. traps. Yeah. So toast. And Fiona bacon now, and cheese. Now, if your kids are going to be well fussy. And they want more pizza, pizza. Just find a big cutter. I actually got these from Kmart, and because I've done my toast ages ago, because somebody was mucking around with the cameras. Who was that? 
don't know who you're talking about. Goodness knows what, I'm just no. going to pull it. But again, it's another good skill for kids to learn. Oh, I learned their... a new phone from a fiance. That's cool. Oh. So nice, nice present. Was it a hand-me-down one? Mine always tend to be hand-me-down. Just push your board forward a little bit. Push your board forward a little bit, if you don't mind. Sorry. Know. Thank you, perfect. Well done. Anyway, I'm going to stick this board here. So I'm going to leave one, just a normal one, and one a round one. So if your Ooh. kids prefer pizza, Bunker. or you could do shapes, like, like butterflies, hearts, you know, that sort of a thing. That's a good idea. You could make, make it fun. It Sorry? Make it fun. Yeah, make it fun. Mm. The kids can cut shapes. But anyway, if you want mini pizzas, there's your mini pizza thing. Now, tomato sauce. I'm just going to put in some onion flakes because I just mm. like a bit of onion. Well but if you don't like that bit of onion, or your kids don't, that's fine. And Italian herbs. Now, this sauce is tomato sauce and Italian herbs. Leave the onion flakes out if you wish. However, they're kind of already cooked, so it's a really good thing to use. Nice. Um, this is a really good pizza sauce. As well, if you've got pizza bases or you're wanting to do something larger. Also, really good idea to use slightly stale bread for now, this. Now, pe people who are watching, now this this is this all seems simple stuff, right? Yeah. So this is, and I know um, we've got a, a very good um, variety of, of people who watch who, who know how to cook. Now, this I suppose this is, this, is, this is a live about stimulating some thought. Yeah, You know, more Absolutely. than anything else. So you might not have thought to put... Um, a bit of stuff in the tomato sauce to make it interesting or whatever. Yeah. Um, plus, if you tell us what your favourite lunch is, you might be in and you share the, the thing you could win, which there is always go. a good thing as well. Yeah, now, like Christina Clark. She's just told the circle thing is awesome. Oh, yeah, I know. It's really easy. It's really easy. So, anyway, and your kids will think they're pizza. Exactly. My daughter's decided she quite likes mushrooms, so we're going to put a few mushrooms on. Now, this is just pizza toppings. Do what your kids like. Actually, get your kids to do what they like. Uh, my boys just like ham and cheese and, and sauce. Cheese. That's Easy. fine too, because I'm not trying to um, get their veggies up. This That's the next one. Mm. Uh, but Close. anyway, some ham on there. Some of that on there. I might as well put that back there. Now, I've got a question though while you're doing oh, that. Oh gosh, I Is can't. it how many people took today and yesterday off from oh, work yeah. because of the midweek Anzac Day? Anzac Day celebration. Yeah. Celebrations. Yeah. We didn't. We, no, we didn't. The problem was with working silly. on the internet. So, anyway, yeah. some cheese. Cheese on last, guys. It sticks everything together. Nice. Just so you know. I'm going to move all that because I'm. Oh, I forgot that I'll be Caps in trouble. Capsicum. Yep, some capsi. You could put, like, if you want to do fancy adult ones, you could do, like, capers and olives. I don't like capers. And, I love yeah, olives. Yeah, me neither. But other people do like food. Okay, all right. That's all right. Okay, so again, Guess that's in the oven. Now, because I'm cooking my scones, this is the other good thing, and scone cooking is quite a high temp, this will work. Um, you could uh, grill these because pretty much everything is cooked, apart from, like, mushrooms and things like that, which are fine to eat raw. So, I'm just going to chuck them in there as well. Oh, look at that. And try and keep my eye on it. So, anyway, last but not least, and very not least, I'm going to make a really easy cheese sauce. Now, this cheese sauce is something that you can use as a dip, which is how I'm going to put it forward today. It's like a fondue. A fondue. Uh, but you can use this on mac and cheese. Yeah. Uh, you could use it with chips, like for chips and cheese. And it's really sneaky. Yeah, it's a really good thing. However, it uses milk and plastic cheese are the two main ingredients, plus your Mrs. So, Rogers flavour. So plastic cheese is what we call the singles. This is what I call plastic cheese, because it's wrapped in plastic. Jimmy was cooking all day yesterday. Oh, Jimmy. Want to see some photos up in the group there? Nice. Now, I used to think this is terrible stuff, and it's full of rubbish and things like not. that. Well. It's, it's not, actually it's just not. Cheese. It's just milk and cheese. Yeah. So all we're doing is adding more milk to it. And the reason this works is because it is milk-based. Because if you put grated cheese and milk together, more often than not, you're going to get it splitting. You won't get this with this. Mm. And the kids love it because they love that subtle flavour. So I'm just, I've got some milk in there. Now, you'll need to look at your quantities as to how much you want to do. I was actually going to put in some smoky barbecue seasoning, even to the point where I've 
put it in put a it container. Out. What are you not? Oh, you're not doing it. But I don't know if anybody oh. remembers our onion soup. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. From the other week. Just push your pot forward just a little bit. Is that all right? We'll get there eventually, everybody. Sorry. Oh, Lana got pushed over by a dog. Oh, is it a oh, big dog thing? A dog park. Okay, so I want one really big heap teaspoon, I think. Onion We're going to taste that later. Nice. So yeah. Uh, have a look on our lives a week ago, a couple of weeks couple ago. Weeks ago. We made this uh, packet, homemade packet soup concept. Oh, chime. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be really nice because it will be like a, um, a, like a French onion dip. Like so a, anyway, over here over to, the to the stove. Oven. And well I'm done. going to pop that on. So the people and that are joining us, when we've got a competition running, just let us know what your favourite lunch is, and you could win a prize pack. Could be a bit of fun. Now while that's heating up, I've got some chopped up uh, carrots and capsicum. Obviously, do what your kids really like. Uh, I've also got these little things here, and I'm just going to very quickly show you how I make them. So I've got my piece of stale bread that's got the crust off, and the kids won't eat it because the crust isn't there anymore. Oh. You know, all of that sort of oh, stuff. Ooh, rolling it out. So. I'm rolling it out. Amelia's kids are obsessed with spaghetti, pizza buns, and lots of mixed herbs. I used to love that. I love with skitty, skitty on stuff. Skitty. Yeah, nice. Okay, so you just want to toast it like a normal piece of toast. What, well, you rolled it out and toasted it? Roll it out so it's a little bit flatter, and Ooh, then you're toasting it. If you wanted to sprinkle it with a bit of oil, and some salt, you can do that, but this is going to be so darn tasty that you Ooh, won't need Jimmy's to. Oh, Jimmy's got a comment, all right? Oh, Jimmy. So, he says, we always add the grated cheese at the end and remove from the heat and mix in and do not heat a white sauce after the cheese has gone right. in. Yes. Yeah. I never do my white sauce like that, but then my white sauce is all made with flour, etc. Whereas this just tastes exactly like the chips and cheese at Fongamata. Oh, that, um, at La Hacienda. Yeah. Fongamata. So if anybody... Wongata, Fongamata, I don't know. We used to call it Wongas, so... Fonga, Fonga, Fonga I don't know. I'm not track. sure of the correct pronunciation. I'm going to say Fonga. But chips and cheese, La Hacienda, school holiday. Well, I may eat of a club holiday. So yeah. you just want to stir this chips in. And cheese. One at a time, otherwise it makes it really hard because you get like a big glomp little. A glomp little. And I've said eight to ten pieces, but just um, judge it. Obviously, I'm going to have to judge it more because I've put in the soup, which has a little bit of corn flour in it, so it Ooh, will slightly corn thicken corn. it, which is not a bad thing because you use less cheese, essentially. Nice. Betsy's and just said that she likes pizza quesadillas. Ooh. That sounds nice. Yeah. Just, so I was watching a YouTube video the other day, a foodie one, because that's what we do, um, and they made uh, wrap, like, tuck, no, what's the thing where you wrap it up? Like a... Um, Calzone? No, it was, it was weird. They did. Uh, some, I don't know. I can't, I'll, I'll post it later on because it was weird. It was a really cool food show, though. Yeah. Anyway, Corin likes homemade ham and cheese hot pockets using wraps and then toasting them. Yeah. See, like that. Yeah. Yeah. That I sounds know, it's nice. So easy. It's the kind of thing you pay twelve bucks for at a cafe. Yeah. And you just make it yourself. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Thank you for saying it's yummy. It is. So it's what are we doing here? Just heating it so through? So we're just heating this through. So I don't have an over cam overhead camera over the stove. So not you're just yet. going to have to, not maybe, yet. Maybe soon. Which one am I looking at? That uh, one? One on the corner, or yeah. Have you turned it off? Yeah, no, that one there. That yeah, one? Yeah, okay. That's all right. You're good. So the so other good thing is that bit. your kids can help you, uh, like even if they're little, they can help you unwrap the cheese and pass you the cheese as yeah. you're stirring it in and things like that because... Um, okay, no, wait. Sorry. Hold the line, caller. My toast is Courtney gone. has come up with... Her son loves to make roly polies, which are jam and a whole banana in a tortilla wrapped up, or mayo and cheese and ham and toast in the oven. So you put a whole banana. Wow. That's cool. We have monkey sandwiches in our house. It's not very flash, but two of my kids love it. We, you um, put jam, like a berry jam, yep. and then you squash a banana and make a sandwich out of that. Monkey sandwiches. Monkey sandwich. It's really good. Banana obviously gives them that little bit extra. A little bit of vegetable. A little bit of extra protein. It's not a vegetable. What? Banana? Oh, no, that's right. It's a fruit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's been a long week. Come on, let me learn. Okay, I'm going to leave my scones in a little bit longer, little bit longer. but longer. I kind of have my mouse traps here. So I'm just going to do that. Do that one. Multitasking. So you are cooking three things at the moment. I'm cooking three things. And that's the other very thing, good guys. Effort. I'm wanting to show you. Don't stress in the kitchen. Don't stress. Yeah? Don't stress. Just 
Just all yeah. is. Yep. Is what it is. It is what it is. And this is obviously going to take you a little bit longer if you're um, cooking with kids because you've got to multitask with the children as well. Well, yeah, but it's also something that can take longer. Like, that's the yeah. thing. A lot of cooking you have to have, you know, it done at a certain time or whatever. And the good thing about um, cooking with kids, especially when while it's in the oven or you're stirring it on the stove, if, your kids, if you're not confident with your kids to do that, they can be setting the table and learning those sorts of skills, which my, my children are not very good at. No. Uh, probably because the table's been covered in a whole pile of stuff for about three weeks. No dig. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I've got nothing that has been, yes. So, yeah, it, it's, I think it's really good. And, hey, I should have thought out the square and gone, well, the table's covered. Let's put out a couple of towels and make it a picnic on the floor. However, I'm doing renos in the lounge, so uh, there's only so many places you oh, can Oh, we have go. white walls now. I'm not sure if anyone noticed. We used to have brick. We used to have brick walls. And now we've, we've got, still got brick, but they've been... It's got called a German, German schmearing. German, German schmear. Similar to rendering, but you make it so that the and bricks are slightly cheap. exposed. Cheap. It is really cheap. If you want to know how to do it, PM well, me. Yeah. I'll let you know. <laughs> Check it through. This is okay, home, home so I cooking. have used, yeah. well, I've used seven. I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. Hi, oh, Margaret. Margaret loves. Oh, banana on toast with Mrs. Rogers, cinnamon and cinnamon. Oh, nice. That's good. Well done. Well, so there's our, bl that, see that cheese sauce looks yummy. Oh, I know. And the best thing about it is it's keto oh. friendly. Oh, it's even better. <laughs> yeah, Amelia says her table is covered in washing. So it's not, it's yeah. not. It's I'm not, not alone. We're not alone. Okay, we're so you've got your alone. sauce there. It looks oh yummy. Oh my goodness, that yeah. looks really good. And you've got the veggies. Okay, you can dip it. now I'm just going to show you. I'm going to roll. My easy toast. Just move the board forward a little bit. Sorry, and I keep asking you. We'll get there. We will get there eventually. There we go. Okay, so there's your easy toast. So easy was toast. Just slightly flattened, toasted, yeah. and you're away. And if you don't want to flatten it, you don't, you don't have, have to. to. But it makes it special, doesn't but it? It makes, makes like it a, a bit different. Yeah. You could rub a little bit of paprika on there or a clove of garlic, things like that. Now, hang on, let me get my scones. Get your scones out. Get my scones out. I'm not burn my eyebrows off. Don't do that. Eyebrows. And we're back. And what we've been live for 22 minutes, and you've managed to do all of this. I've, I've done. So we've done three. pizzas, scones, scones, uh, and now, cheese sauce. I'm going to show you an important thing with the scone. My mother. Scone or scone? We're just taking the mickey. I'm taking the mickey. Okay, my mother-in-law right. will be very pleased that I am doing this with an ironed tea towel. I well did done. that especially for her. I don't iron my tea towels normally. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Alana's table's covered with a jigsaw puzzle. Well, that's all right. You're in the holiday. I don't like jigsaw puzzles. They annoy me. Yeah, that's because you can't see the end result I straight can't, away. No. So this is really important. Oh, really, really, really important. Yep. Very important. Give your scones a nice little bed and a clean tin towel. Mm -hmm. And just. What? Just wait. Just let them rest. What for? How long? Just until they're cool enough to eat. Really? Because so what will it, that do? Um, well, my grandmother swears by it, but it actually makes the scones soften and doesn't sweat anywhere oh. because it, they're quite hot. It's like a cake or a biscuit or whatever. It will That's sweat. Cool. So this allows the scone to breathe and to cool down at room temperature until it's an edible, you know, sort Tell of me, Bob. temperature. And Christine yeah. says, it's amazing with a smiley face. Yeah, so you've got to do this. It's really important with any scone. You've got to do cool. it. Well done. So, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, our scones are calling. Wow. I am going to... Now, I, uh, I'm a stickler. Peel your carrots <laughs> to make your kids eat them because the outside is really, really, really bitter. And Christina and I are going to get together and not do puzzles. She doesn't like puzzles Not do either. puzzles. No. I'm going to try my dip and I'll okay. let you know if the French onion stuff... Now you can do this for adults. Imagine it with in a pull apart bread. Oh, that'd just be lovely. Thicken it a bit more. Oh damn, that's really nice. Is that good? Mm. It's that's good. really good. Yeah. Good that's cheese. Really nice. It's really oh, nice. All over here. So the oh. only problem with me doing this camera work is I can't come and eat food with you over there. It's really to wait nice. Till afterwards. No. <laughs> it's annoying. I'm just gonna say in case your child went. Oh, but mum, you didn't make it into a shape. Mum. Let me say it's okay, Freddie. 
I've got an idea. Calm the hell down, Freddy. I don't know if your parents did this for you, but I used to love it. Little, Look at that. Can you see that at all? I can. Little butterflies. Little butterflies. Remember that? Remember how our parents used to make Very food clever. fun? Little butterflies. Very clever. Okay, so our scones are nearly done. I didn't get any butter out, which is probably really silly. Because you really need to have these have with a, a lot of butter. butter. A right. lot of butter. So I'm just going to Spice be a little up. bit... So what do we put in these ones, in the scones? scones? Basically, see, look at that. Margaret loves puzzles. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm clearly in the minority. It's just because you can't get it done. <laughs> And Jimmy says the old wine soup helps. Yes, it does. Grape, grape soup. <laughs> One day we'll get Jimmy, it right, mate. I had a couple of bowls of grape soup the other night. And one of those days. So, um, yeah. That was... Uh, I, Classic. Mine was sparkling grape soup. But, uh, yeah. It was good. Well it was done. even Facebook postable on my personal profile. So, anyway. Beautiful cheese scones. A great addition to soup. Or soup, just soup. have it by itself. As I said, it's just flour, baking powder, milk, and butter are your basics. A pinch of salt if you want to, if you're going to slop jam and cream on there, you just want to use a little bit of Mrs. Rogers Himalayan salt because it's a softer flavor, but you do need the salt. It just brings out that mmm of everything else that you put on top of it. Or make them savory like I have with some cheese. The kids will eat it just like this. A little bit of butter or a lot of butter. A little, a lot of butter. Is it good? So good. It's nice. All right. Mm. Well done. They're really nice. Well done. All right. Give everyone a rundown of what we've been okay. doing. Okay. So I made three things in 20 minutes. Really easy. Didn't stress. I know it was all portioned out, but to be honest, I could do it from my pantry or my fridge. Scones. Cheese scones. Adaptable. Any way you like. If you put a lot of ingredients in it, maybe just consider throwing an egg in there if your ingredients are really heavy. Otherwise, just cheese scones. Because let's face it, who can beat cheese scones? Mouse traps, good old fashioned mouse traps, basically the concept of a pizza. If your kids don't like tomato sauce, put barbecue sauce on the bottom. Mix it up, make it fun, let your kids make it because they will eat it. And my quick and easy cheesy sauce. I think I called it easy peasy cheesy sauce, which <laughs> sounds really cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, like easy that. cheesy peasy sauce easy, peasy, cheesy that sauce. you can use for adults. It'd be great with buffalo wings. It'd be awesome with just to make your kids eat more vegetables because let's face it, the more stuffed vegetables you can get in, the, the better. Yep. Um, I actually did it with my French onion soup that we made a couple of weeks ago. It was really nice. However, you could pop some French herbs in there instead, which would be really yum, make it a more herby sort of line. Or use one of our seasonings like the Smoky Barbecue seasoning. Yeah, I see. I reckon, I reckon that would be, awesome. be the go. Yeah. Yeah, agree. that'd actually be really nice with, with yeah. your buffalo wings. And well, Alana your chicken says, nibbles. loving our videos, they're amazing. Thank you, Alana. Thanks, guys. So oh, anyway, fun. I've made all this food now, so uh, we, we better, better go, go and have a late lunch. Now, quick, quick little rundown of though, yes. where people can watch. So, okay. so YouTube, all these yep. videos go up to YouTube. Join the group, Jimmy and the rest of the team and Margaret and all the rest are doing a fantastic job in the group, keeping everything busy and doing what we're doing. Um, and where else? Oh, yeah. oh. And we put all and we put all the re recipes up on the on the web page as well. Mm. So watch on the web page, yep. Instagram stories. And the good thing about the web page is if you go to recipe search at the top corner, right hand corner I think it is, or left hand. Right hand corner. Yep. Right hand corner. Um, you can you can search. So if you've seen me make scones, or if you can remember easy Thanks, lunch Christina. ideas or whatever, you can search in that and it will pull all the recipes up, which is really handy. I and the video will show in the. And thing. it will show in the, um, in the actual recipe. part where you go clicky thing on. You can tell he's the Thank you. computer guy. So anyway, guys, have a go. Quick Enjoy and easy. Enjoy the holidays if you've got let, kiddies around. Yeah, let us Enjoy know your, um, your, either your kid's favourite lunch or your favourite lunch. Like, Thanks share the watching. video, etc. Let's get some more prizes happening. Um, and yeah. And see how we go. We'll all right, I'm going to try go. and do like an outro video. Ooh. So we'll see how this works. Okay, it's, well, I'll it. just keep you eating. You just keep eating. Because and that's... everyone have a lovely weekend. Thank you for all your comments. We love having a chat. We love you watching. Mm. And um, join the group. Get involved mm. with the group. Share. I'm going to go have some cheese. It's really good with capsicum. Yum. See ya. Not capsicum. Cucumber. Cucumber. Well done. Bye. Bye. Bye.